Okay guys, so let's hop on to lighting. So my main focus in this particular frame is these rugs, which will have this fuzzy, furry texture and this cabinet right here. So I'm gonna set up lights for it. So to set up lights, um, let's just stop the render for a second and go to this exact thing. And we would take the spotlight. There are a lot of kind of lights, um, but the most you would use probably is the spotlight. And the rectangular light is pretty amazing. So let's start with the spotlight. Um, I'm gonna zoom in and put a spotlight on this cabinet. Right there. So once you like feel it's kind of, it looks fine. You double click on your camera mode and you turn on the rendering. As soon as you turn on the rendering, you will see this like blast of light on your product. And that's why you will use the interactive mode now to kind of focus the light where you want it to be actually, right? So setting up light is probably the most important part and the most difficult part of your way. So once you're set up with the light, you're basically kind of done with your rendering. Okay, so I'm kind of satisfied with the light hitting this way. It's like too much, but I am I like uh, the fact that it's hitting the whole object right here. To, to just render the part you're applying the light to, you can just select on this and make a box around it so that it just renders this part it just makes the whole thing faster um, and then I'd go to the spotlight and reduce the intensity by a lot so that it doesn't look unreal to maybe like a little So if you close this, it's this dark, and if you open it, you can test it, that how unreal you want it to look. So I just want a little bit of light right there, so I'm going to set it to that. You have to set up the lights in the same way for the carpets, and I kind of don't want this to be the focus, so I'm not going to set up light on this particular thing. And then we were... Um, after you've done the setup of lights and everything, we're gonna look at how to set up the carpets and to give it a furry texture in the next video.